you welcome to my prayer closet it's me stacy i'm so glad you're here if you're new here my name is stacy obviously i'm 25 years old i'm from texas i love jesus and i love transporting his people into his heart if you're a returning subscriber you the realist i appreciate you so 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 much you're fam and i got you and yeah make sure you check the description box below because it be some more juicy resources so dj stacy in the house let's do let 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 let's do it abba all right so i got a cough how are y'all doing are you doing okay good all right so let's start for prayer. Lord, thank you for being so awesome. We love you. Or have your way in this video, Lord God. Draw from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Anyone who needs to view this, Lord God. Lord, let us have ears, let them have ears that are hearing and eyes that can see, Lord God. Hearts receptive to the word. Break every chain, Lord God. Let this video fill them with peace, with joy, and with harmony. And let it synchronize them to you, Lord God. Lord, I'm your vessel. I'm your mouthpiece, Lord God. Use me in the way you see fit, Lord God. Give me the words to speak, Lord God. And lead and guide this video in the way you want to go. In Jesus' name, amen. So how I do that, I just come in the closet with these videos. I have my Bible and I open it up randomly. And wherever it comes from, that's where I know God wants us to preach on. So we're doing this series called Let Go, Let God and Prodigal Come Home. That's just saying we've all been prodigals in our life. You know, every time we don't trust God, we, we're fearful, we worry, we have anxiety, we go through trials. It's easy to run away from God. But Prodigal Come Home is speaking to that prodigal son that's in us all that no matter what we do no matter what we go through we need to run back to god and let go let god is simple just whatever you're trusting god for believing god for whatever you're going through any unexpected just unexpected just pain you're going through let it go and give it to god because he has got you all right let's see what abba wants us to talk about praise the lord Hallelujah. Hmm. You're tired of waiting on God, right? You're tired of waiting on God. You're tired. We get tired of waiting on God. In Daniel chapter 9, it says, And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them who love him and to them who keep his commandments. Okay, God hears all your prayers. God knows the desires of your heart. If you seek his kingdom, he will give you the desires of of your heart and check this out the more you seek his kingdom the more your desires change to his desires and God keep on seeking his face look at Daniel look at all the persecution Daniel had to go through but God was still faithful and just to bring him out to bring him into the perfect plan of God to bring him to what he needed and to bring him into just this perfect promise of him being with the at, at the king's table, being the third in the kingdom, but even when they tried to throw him in the and in the, the when they threw him in the lion's den, when they brought false accusations, Daniel's testament because D Daniel stood on the Lord, the king set a decree in the land that everyone had to worship the God of Daniel's God. You know, are you standing so much that people are like, dang? I got to worship the God of Stacey. I have to worship the God of, of, of Brian. I have to worship your God, you know, whatever your name is. So we think that it will be the good things that happen in our life that bring people to God. We think that, oh, it's when I get this big breakthrough or when I get this big promotion, when I get this job, when I get married, when I have this big miracle, then people will come to my God. Yes, but truly, I know this. The thing, and even me, the things that get me closer to God are not in the breakthroughs. It's in the trying times when I'm just 
in sack, spiritual sackcloth and I'm crying when I just feel so miserable, real talk. Because it says, the Bible says he is near to the brokenhearted. When I feel his nearness, when I feel his comfort, in those lonely times in my bed with tears streaming down my pillow, and you just want to get away from life, you just want to escape everything. In those times, have I felt his presence just envelop me, you know? And yes, there's many, fa yes, the other facets of God, I see him and the breakthrough and the miracle, but it's something so special, so tender. Can you stand the rain? Can you stand the rain? Storms will come. This we know for sure. Tell me, baby, can you stand the rain? You know what I mean? Like, it's the storms. Like, sunny days. Everybody has them. But, like, tell me. I need to know, can you stand the rain? That's why when you take wedding vows, it's like, okay, that's cute. But rich or poor, if I get sick. If so, if you get dementia, you don't, I don't remember. It's so beautiful. The most, there's tons of wedding videos on YouTube, but the most touching videos I see, or see, there's tons of love videos, but the most touching videos I, I saw this one, this the guy was in a wheelchair, or this one man, his wife has dementia, or um, Alzheimer's, doesn't remember him, but he, he literally, takes care of her and says I love her she's still mine he puts a literal crown on her head and pushes her around the park and said this is my princess that's love she can't do anything for him I mean she can she she can't really help herself so but she's giving him the best gift just being her and that's love love is shown in the hard times and God sometimes puts us through things to see he's not to see why well, I want to see how much you love me, you know, because that's how you know. That's how you know. That's when true love is cultivated in the hard times. That's when true love is cultivated in the hard times, in the and the trying times, and the times where you don't know what to do and you feel like that's when God. The, that's when you your trust your 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 um your your try your your testing patience will produce fruit the trials the fiery furnace when you go through the fiery furnace people will see wow when i see people who are sick or have wheelchairs like this one when i used to go to visit this one church there's this guy in a wheelchair he was there all the time he'd always be at the altar in a wheelchair and he would drive himself to church i'm like wow how much he loves God. he's not letting nothing stop him and stuff like that that touches my heart and that touches God's heart, too. It's not... Sometimes we look for the good. We look for the good, the good, the good, the, 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 the good that our natural eye thinks is good. But when you look at the good in the spiritual sense, you know? Even my grandmother, she passed away with cancer. That was some of the most horrible times because it, it hurt me to see her in that. But it was some of the most beautiful times because I got to tell her how much I loved her. And we shared such beautiful moments. You know what I mean? Jesus didn't, he wanted to go to the cross of curse, but he still didn't want to. You know, he still, and when I said he, he wrestled, of course he wanted to, because he had a choice. But he still wrestled, and like, God, is there another way? Is there another way? Even though he knew it wasn't. Nevertheless, let your will be done. Nevertheless, let your will be done. Nevertheless, God, let your will be done. Nevertheless. Let your will be done. Nevertheless, let your will be done. Say it with me. Nevertheless, let your will be done. Nevertheless, God, let your will be done. Nevertheless, let your, nevertheless, my bank account is on negative. Let your will be done. Nevertheless, my phone bill is due. I don't know how to pay it. Let your will be done. Nevertheless, I just got diagnosed with cancer. My husband's cheating on me. Let that will be done. Nevertheless, I don't have money to pay for college. But let your will be done. Nevertheless, I'm getting bullied at school, but I let your will be done. God has a purpose and a plan. God has a purpose and a plan for you. See, the struggles in your life are gonna be a testimony. You're gonna come out you're gonna come out you're gonna come out so pure, so 
just so ready. You're gonna come out so strong. You're gonna come out so strong. Just believe God, continue to trust him. He is so good. You can trust him. You really can trust him. You can trust him. Say, I can trust him. You can trust him. I can trust him. Can I trust him? Yeah. I can trust him. You can trust him. So I'm gonna give you my heart, Lord. And I'm gonna give you my life. As a living sacrifice, I belong to you, Jesus, I adore you. With my whole life, with my whole life, I worship you, oh God. With my whole heart, I worship you. You've been there from the start. You'll be there at the end. Jesus, my best friend, I worship you. You'll be there at the start. You were there at the end. You have my whole heart. And I know you're my friend jesus i long for you i long for you i long for you my friend tell him how much you long for him oh i long for you my friend oh tell him again oh i long for you, my friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Etorobo zika rabashia. Bezendo robo hakaye rabashi favavaji. I'm here in Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, don't worry. The situation is already taken care of. The situation is already taken care of, Elizabeth. Don't worry. Jendo robo zabaha ke tarabasi. Dorobo zababa haka. Keith. 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 Don't give up on your marriage. I may I know you feel hurt and you feel neglected, but don't give up. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your marriage. Jerobo zabaha ka te robo jomba. Maze kate ya robo zababa haka. Hmm. There's someone who's watching me from the United Kingdom. God says he sees how lonely you are. He sees how you feel abandoned. But he wants you to know, rest assured, I got you. I got you in my arms and I'm fighting for you. I'm fighting for you. Praise God. Let's end this with some prayer. So, God, I just thank you for this word that went forth, Lord God. I seal in the blood of Jesus. I bind all spirits of retaliation, Lord God. And, Lord, I just thank you for just, may we just, re just receive your restoration, receive your reconciliation, Lord God. May we just continue to just know that we have the most precious gift, the gift of the, of the cross, the gift of salvation, the gift of your blood, the greatest sacrifice. Knowing that we don't have to do anything else to earn it. That is a free gift given to us, Lord God. All we have to do is fully trust you. So, Lord, whatever we have to go through to know you, whatever we have to go through to, to let our love increase, we say, Lord, let it be. Lord, let it be. Lord, let it be. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you if you made it this far. Yay! So... Leave a comment down below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So have a wonderful day. You're special to Jesus in each and every way. All right. Bye.